Hey everyone, Wanderbot here and welcome to Earthless. It is a roguelike deck builder from Blackbird Interactive, the developers of Hardspace Shipbreaker and I, I guess Homeworld 3 and also Minecraft Legends and Deserts of Karakta. Like, I, I'm always blown away specifically by Blackbird because it just feels like they've got so many different ideas that they're they're putting out and all of them are fantastic and different. And let's see if we can have co-op at some point. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, let's dive into this. I know there's like a glut of roguelike deck builders and I know a lot of people are, are like, ah, I'm bored of them. But the answer is like, I think we just need interesting ones to make it worth it. Draw three cards. It costs zero energy for the encounter. Ooh, five dagger missile launches into your hand or three heat gain three energy. I'm going to go for the draw three cards. They cost nothing. That feels like that's going to be really strong. But I have no way of knowing. So exoplanet target. So I guess leaving Earth. Huh. All right. So I guess it's kind of an arc ship escort quest. Probably. So kind of slay the spire map. God, the presentation is solid, though. So can I check like a legend or something? So this is my deck. I'll figure that out later. Uh, so we're here. We've got battles. We've got salvage sites, points of interest, transmissions. Points of interest. I don't know how much of any of this matters. Uh, the main question is, which of these allows me to heal? Well, let's do a battle first, then we'll figure it out. Greetings, greetings, Captain. We just exited warp, and it seems we're in an asteroid field. Our computers generated the objective indicated here. Navigation is calculated an exit trajectory. Highlighted on our hollow table grid. Navigate to these tiles to complete your objective. To locate the exit tiles in the hollow table, use WASD to pan the hologram and space to enter onto our ship. To move, left-click the ship. Okay. You know, I was saying that... Um... I think we just need more interesting roguelike deck builders. I think I found one. As we move, our engine will heat up. When heat reaches max, our ship can no longer move. Going over the heat limit will result in overheat cards equal to the difference being added. Difference being added to the top of your deck, heat dissipates at a rate of one per turn. There's an asteroid block in the way. Target an attack card on the asteroid to destroy it. Cost of playing a card is indicated in the top left. The range is in the bottom right. You can find our ship's current and max energy on this readout. Okay, yeah, this is interesting. Five damage, gain five shields. Combo. Draw a card, gain energy. I don't know what combo does yet. So we can also vent heat. Vulnerable marked. I think I'm just going to blast it with a missile. Vent some heat. I don't know how much energy we get back per turn. I'm assuming four. We've detected a hostile alien life form, Captain. Inspect the unit by hovering over it to gain more intel. Our ship is equipped with advanced AI systems that predict the actions of other ships. Inspecting an enemy unit will provide a preview of its intentions. While holding tab, it'll show the enemy's intended actions next turn. Good luck and lead us to our destination, Captain. I wish it would actually auto-pause the moment we see an enemy. Like, instead of going forward these three spaces that I had, um, I had chosen, it would be like, Oh, hit the brakes. We need to care about this. So, it is a Lusk Grunt. It's going to be attacking me for three damage. Uh, three? Well, it's Missile Three. Hostile. But it looks like it's going to attack for four unless I've got some shields. Well, speaking of shields, gain shields. And then I'm going to make it vulnerable and marked for two turns. And then we're just going to end turn because I can't do anything else. So, we take no damage. Easy enough. Uh, let's see. Ah, Asimov class. So maybe I only get to use that ability every once in a while. Well, this sucker's only got 4 HP, and I'm pretty sure the missiles are just gonna... Oh, take out its shields. There we go. Alright, let's move forward. So I guess really the trick is... Oh, I have to charge it up. Got it. Uh, but the trick is I think I just have to move forward at one tile per turn. Unless I absolutely need to move for some reason. So we get a reward pack. Choose a reward. Three shield, four damage to all units in range. Defensive salvo, I like that. Every time you gain shield, draw a card. So that's a power. And gain one heat, next attack card played is played twice. I'm going to go for the ki Kinetic Redistributor. I'm much more of a um, uh, 
a turtle build. Yellow cards are equipment. These cards will be in effect for four turns before they expire. Oh, okay. I wonder if we can cycle them more. Hoping they'd be permanent, but whatever. We also have a bunch of different characters here, which I'm curious about. Welcome to the crew manifest. It'll be important to manage your crew's morale captain. The higher the morale, the better they perform. Conversely, the lower their morale, they might start causing problems. Also find their current crew upgrades on this chart. You can also see your crew's stats during encounters by toggling the crew UI. Okay, so no effect. They're fine. Alright, so we'll have to care about morale. Well, do we want to do the point of interest and the transmission first and then a couple of battles? Sure. Yeah, let's go up this way. Captain, we located the remains of another human spacecraft. We can salvage for parts to upgrade our ship and repair our hull. Sel salvage for parts. We're full out anyway. So choose a salvage. Card or, or Captain's orders. Card type. Another kinetic redistributor or railgun shot. Indirect line, AOE, armor piercing, six damage. That's pretty good. I still like the kinetic redistributors. Where are these down here? I don't know, I'm going to grab it. Oh, it's a schematic. We've obtained a schematic to craft a new weapon. You can access the crafting module here. Where? Discard pile. Oh, here. Welcome to the crafting module. To access the schematic we just received, navigate to the schematic, pressing the crafting button. There are two types of schematics, one for crafting cards and one for crafting artifacts. Once the card schematic is selected, you can preview the card on the right-hand side of the screen. Press the craft button for the console to add it to your deck. Uh, let's see, for artifact schematics, use the descriptions to help you determine what artifact you want to craft. Huh. Okay, and we need X amount of resources to do it. So, I could make another one of these. I'm not sure if I really overwhelmingly need it at the moment. So we're just going to save our, our juice. Pearls of Wisdom. Captain, we've collected intel or intact Lusk Pearls during our last encounter. I'd like to request the priority be given to research these pearls for improving our combat capabilities. Captain, the research team has been waiting for an opportunity to take a close look at the Lusk's anatomy. There's a significant chance these pearls will aid in medical advancement. Priority should be given a medical. So combat capabilities. Okay, so this would make the science officer... Oh, I see. The science officer is saying priority should go to medical. Uh, this is going to make the chief engineer, gunnery officer, and navigation captain happier. Whereas this is going to make communications and science happy, but the other two mad. I'm going to go for a net positive. We need to keep our offensive capabilities in tip-top shape. They're making the right choice. So we've got Mjolnir Strike. The disposing of cards can take time. You'll be notified how long you have to wait until your next card disposal. We're now ready to dispose of cards we don't need. Oh, that's nice. So we just, uh, discard pile? Wait, oh, card recycle, of course, it's right here. To recycle a card, press the recycling button to access cards. All of the recyclable cards will pop up, cool. So if we go to recycling, we can also upgrade. Oh, but artifacts. Okay, what would I want to get rid of? Still don't know what combo does. Uh, let's see, target locked, Mjolnir strike, gain a heat, 5 damage, 2 vulnerable, and weaken. You know, honestly, I'm not big on it. Oh, but it's probably better than a missile launch. Let's be honest here. Okay, so let's just recycle a, a missile launch. And let's get out of here. So we get to use that every 3 locations, give or take. That's a good way of letting you get rid of cards. Yeah, we received data from the other colony ships that will allow us to improve the function of our crew. The signal bandwidth is weak and limits our data throughput. However, we're only able to receive enough data to upgrade one of our officers. So you can upgrade a skill. If you're at max heat, deal an additional two damage. I like that. Max shield increases by five. Two attack cards played this turn. Gain five shield. Whenever you exhaust or manually discard a card, four shield. At the start of an encounter, gain emergency heat vent with purge in your hand. Oh, shoot. I think I'm going to go for shield protocol.
Otherwise, we could actually do this to get her morale up. I'm going to do that. The heat transfer is good, too. And we've got an amount of shield generating cards to begin with. Okay, durable hulls. Oh, enemies are tankier. And there's a bunch of them. All of a sudden, I need to care. What is my max shields? They never told me that one. Okay. So what is the range on these? Not great. And we still don't... Okay, combo. We'll trigger if the combo card is played after another card. So as long as I don't lead with it. Well, that's fine then. Uh, I'm going to go over here. Is my thought. Shields up. And then... Not enough range. End turn. Yeah, I want to kill potentially these things. So let's see. Okay, kinetic redistributor. Shields up. Draw two cards, discard a card. Yeah, let's start with that. Uh, let's see, I've still got two. I'm going to just get rid of the other shields up for the time being. I should be able to do a captain's orders. Perfect. Okay. I'm probably just going to keep shooting them. Uh, I think I'm just going to end turn because we lose all of our cards anyway. No, no sense in trying to cycle. What? So it can raise shields. I thought I did damage to it. Oh. Unless that sucker healed it. Possibly. Okay, so we're going to do a target... Do we do a target locked? Target locked. Mjolnir strike. Missile launch kills it. And then I'm just going to do a shields up. I'm going to hide in this corner and just fight. Okay, what do we have? We have a captain's orders. Now, I currently have no shields. shields activated. Target locked? At a range of four. Captain's orders. And then... Can't do with a Milner strike. But we can move one. And kill it. And I've got nine shields, so we don't have much to worry about. I've just got enough to to help that guy just for a smidge, because we're at max heat, so we do extra damage. Did the dude just do his... Oh, he, he got his shields back. That's what he did. Okay, so let's start with the target locked. I'll just shields up, see if I can get a little bit more. Can't. Uh, let's see. Any more shields? Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I was going to actually vent heat. But it's fine. You can't get at me. I'm too powerful for you. Alright, let's vent some heat. Taking position. Uh. Shields do your shields up just in case. Because, yeah, we don't have anything in the immediate area. Just these two kind of loaders. Support unit, vulnerable to player. Allies, firepower, and heal them. Immune to com contaminated. We got some more unfriendos. And two lusk grunts. Okay, I can't hit that one. Okay, toss that. Because, yeah, I'm not going to be able to hit any of them. So I'm just going to work my way over. Whoa. Oh. I think I took too long. No, I didn't take too long. Okay. Uh, I don't know why that's red. Vent heat. Just move one. And then pop our shields up. Oh. Uh, let me take a look at this. Going in. 
I'm gonna go there because that might be safer. Oh. That hurt. That hurt a lot. This guy was the one shooting at me. Okay. Now I know. Okay, let's get rid of a missile launch. Uh, another missile launch. Okay, let's do the shields up first. I don't know what contamination does. End their turn, we gain three contamination. Well, that's fun. Okay. I have just enough. Let's vent some more heat. And just get out of there. Yeah, so that, that hurt. But at least we're kind of okay. Because I can move here. Uh, let's see. Milner strike. Captain's orders. Let's see, do we do the missile launch? Yes. Because we're at max heat. And then I'll do some shields just in case. Though I guess we already had nine. It's fine. Alright, so now I'm vulnerable. However, there's there are very few enemies left. So let's discard some cards, get rid of missiles. Okay. Captain's orders. I think I'm just gonna have to kill this guy. There we go. And just shields up a bunch. I think it's just the support units. I'm not sure where those suiciders came from, apart from presumably being. Let's see. Go for the missile launch. Alternatively. I'm just going to go for the kill. Who cares about the overheat if we win? So we get a card pack and a... Let's start with the artifact. Uh, equipment cards last longer. And also, what do we have? Discard your hand, draw that many cards. That's nice. Line piercing does a ton of damage. Long range, too. Otherwise, we could crush something. The railgun shot is tempting, just because I can potentially punch through a lot of things, and if I max the heat, that's going to do 8 damage. This one's slightly interesting, if only because I could use that to do extra. Let's grab the railgun shot. Did I actually get those resources? Hopefully they auto-collect. We've collected an artifact. This will help upgrade our combat abilities. Upgrade, uh, Update your cards with the artifacts collected here. Oh. We can install the obtained artifact onto a card to amplify its effect. All artifacts in our inventory are available on this list. Oh. Okay, so artifacts are slightly different. I mean, that's fine. I'll just put it on this one. I was hoping it was just a permanent passive effect, and the answer is it sort of is, but it's an upgrade to a specific one. Now, I could go to the point of interest. Uh, that one's tough, because we've taken a little bit of damage. Yeah, let's go for the POI. We've discovered that Lusk Pearls can discharge energy into other vessels. We can manipulate the pearls to function as a new energy source. I'd like to request a priority upgrade of our engine core. Sorely needed. Or it's our weapons. So, engine gets an upgrade, or weapons get an upgrade. This is tough. Because if I do this gunnery and communications, can I actually check their morale from here? No. I think I'm gonna go for the weapons still. Okay, so we've got a proton torpedo. And morale's gone up. 
But I guess it takes a couple of morale boosts to have an effect. So science officer is normal. Chief engineer is normal. Gunnery officer is happy. Gain a barrage card. Communications, no effect. And navigation, no effect. So the gunnery, gunnery dude is pretty happy. We'll have to figure out crew upgrades. Oh, wait. Maybe there is one? No, maybe it just... It's just telling me the status of his current morale. Okay, and we can recycle a card. I think I'm going to keep getting rid of those uh, missiles. They're not bad, but they're not great either. Uh, so barrage. Gain one heat. Next attack card is played twice. Fair enough. I'll probably use that for like a double captain's orders because we might actually be able to um, gain energy and cards that way. Okay, max hull, and all units take damage at the end of their turn. Oh, that's rude. On the flip side, maybe what I want to do is hang out then. Activated. Yeah, let's just chill. Wait for them to get a little closer to me at the very least. Okay. I think we're gonna go here. Going in. Oh. Okay, that's new. Down. Okay, kill that one. Units and then we do a shields up. Shields are up. Oh, does the captain's shot? And you know what? I'm gonna use this. Kind of overkill, but what else is it going to, uh, what else am I going to do about it? So it looks like things just got a lot worse for me. Sort of. Do a barrage. Captain's orders. Probably kill this guy. Heat level is critical. That's not great. Let's get rid of the railgun. Do the kinetic redistributor. Because, yeah, we want to start losing some heat here. Taking position. Kill that guy. And then shields up again for no good reason. I don't think we need to increase my max shields. Unless it's some kind of, like, your shields carry over? No, they don't. Reach the exit. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Uh, let's get rid of Barrage. Maybe I did need that energy. Uh, that engine. Boost. Out. Okay. So we've got some energy. Uh, let's see, we have the Proton Torpedo. Which will destroy everything kind of there. There's like a mothershipy looking sucker. What about the railgun shot? Okay. Uh, let's keep doing battlefield analysis. This is the proton torpedo. It's not going to help me too much. I'm thinking what I do is I vent heat. Vent heat. Move up one. Well, Molnir and blast that sucker. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. Line beam attack. Well, two can play that game. Bye, sucker. Okay, let's just lose target lock. Or barrage, barrage. Vent heat. Got a free shields up. I think I'm just gonna cruise forward. What is this sucker? Lusk hive. Spawn ships. Five damage units around it when destroyed. Immune to contaminated. 
I'll do a target lock on it. I could overheat and, like, punch it. I think I'll wait for next turn. Okay, target lock. Shields up just for the sake of it. Barrage. Captain's orders. Target destroyed. Vent heat. There we go. Uh, let's just lose missile launch. We don't need it. Heals up for more cards. Uh, let's see. Can't do too much more. I guess we're just going to destroy one of the asteroids in front of me. And end turn. Well, that was sick. Okay, vent some more heat. Yeah, we should probably go for an engine upgrade. All right, take two hull, non-lethal damage, three energy, lose all heat. Oof. I'm just going to keep going for battlefield analysis. It effectively, it's a free draw. And lets me curate whatever's in my hand, which seems really useful. Okay, data from other colony ships allow us to improve the functionality. Bu -bu 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 -bu. Upgraded skill. Okay, two attack cards played this turn, gain five shields, max shields up, start of encounter, gain two energy. When you exhaust or manually discard a card, eh. I think I'm going to go for the shield protocol. Every two attack cards played this turn, gain five shields. We're just going to be kind of a tank boy. Uh, okay, he's now tier two shield protocol. Okay, so that's that's the crew upgrades we were seeing. Yeah, so heat, heat transfer shield protocol. And now we can afford to maybe make the gunnery officer a little grumpy at me. Salvage per, per parts? Absolutely. So what do we have? Tactical strike card to the top of your deck. Captain's orders again. Or auxiliary shield generator artifact. Make skill card give shield to yourself. So we got a schematic for that, which means I can potentially make artifacts now. Oh no. Wait, yes? Craft. Ah, uh, but I can only make make it once. I was really hoping I could use that schematic a bunch of times. Uh, anyway, we're going to select this card. What do we give it to? You know, frankly, Battlefield Analysis. It's free. All right, boss fight. You know, this is giving me kind of Crying Suns vibes. But instead of real-time combat, it's turn-based in a deck builder. And I'm not going to say it looks prettier. It's more visually appealing to me. Crying Suns had a neat neat visual style. Uh, but, like, just the, the amount of detail, the fact that I can even zoom in on this is great. Like, just these kind of swirly patterns on its hull. This is an alien vessel. You know, this is not something humans would make. This is something humans would make with, like hard edges and like big blocky shapes pure function whereas this is almost organic i mean it's got like little leggy bits it's got a lot of leggy bits bits in fact all right so we've got a spawn herald core seeker turret close range projectile attack spawn seekers when players out of range destroying a turret makes the core targetable respawns after two turns okay so we got to get up in there really quick otherwise it's going to start uh pelting me Fair enough. Shields up. Railgun shot. And in turn. Could have maybe done more, but that's it. Oh boy. Okay, so Seekers are annoying. Contaminates tiles adjacent to the target on attack. Immune to contamination. Oy. Knock that out. Do a battlefield analysis. We've got some shields. I don't think anybody is shooting at me necessarily. Yet. Let's lose the Mjolnir strike just because we're low on health anyway. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. Yeah, do I want to do the kinetic redistributor? Probably early, yeah. I could have maybe waited one more turn. 
Because in retrospect, this doesn't help too much. Let's actually wait here. Okay, didn't mess me up though. Could have. Okay, so I'm actually gonna get right up in in here. We got a proton torpedo, which I can. And it seems like a good idea. Let's start with the shields up just in case. Another battlefield analysis. Who's the missile launch, I think? Another battlefield analysis gets me some more. We have Captain's Orders, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, so let's lose this other, other one. Because Captain's Orders is genuinely great. Uh, do we have enough range? Yes. Oh, we can actually hit the core. Let me take a look at this. Oh, destroying a turret makes the core targetable. Okay, so to some degree, we kind of want to aim for the captain's orders. Okay. Do we do a barrage? Yeah, we're going to do a barrage. Captain's orders, hit the core a couple times for big damage. Also a bunch of energy. Um... More? More. Let's take out the turret so we don't need to worry about it. Cycle of battlefield analysis, lose the missile launch. Unfortunately, we don't have an easy way of getting extra energy. What I'd like to have is those free cards. Um, Vent heat barrage, some other stuff. Target lock. You know what? I think I'm just going to make give it a target lock. Would have been nice to get that earlier, but don't have much of a choice. Okay, and contamination is annoying. Units eliminated. Let's see. Let's vent heat for now. Do a battlefield analysis that gets us our shields. Lose the target lock, because I'm not going to be using it. I think I'm going to move here. Going in. So we don't get corrupted. Uh, then we're going to do another barrage. Captain's orders. Oh, I didn't kill it? When in Rome. Oh. I wonder if blasting the, um... There we go. Just lose that. I wonder if blasting this, getting it to half health, uh... Oh, do we have so many we can just get our battlefield analysis? Ah, uh, we don't have an infinite loot. That's okay. End turn. At least we can cycle a bunch. We're probably gonna have to worry about contaminants here. Uh, and it does look like it's shooting at me. However... Oh, well, this is just stinky. But I can do a shields up. We can do a battlefield analysis. Let's lose one of the shields up. What's the range on this? Pretty good, actually. So I'm going to move here. We're going to do the proton torpedo. This way it'll do six damage to these guys. Okay. Uh, and you know what? No. We're going to make him vulnerable. I'm hoping that after a boss fight, I heal. Because honestly, we're very quickly hitting the point where uh, there's no non-contaminant uh, Let's see, there's nothing that isn't contaminated at the moment. So what do we want to do? Slag it with a Mjolnir strike. Get it with the captain's orders. That gets us some energy back. And then a railgun shot. 
Uh, can I hit it? No, I cannot. But I think I can just get it with missiles. There we go. Took three damage. Took it the mother ship. Oh, it even has kind of like a bug animation. On behalf of all humankind, we thank you for successfully finding a potential new home. But your mission has only just begun. Do your best to lead the settlement of your crew and passengers, but know that your services may be called upon again in the future. Soft landings, Captain. Yeah, you can tell this is made by the homeworld people. And you know what? I'm freaking stoked for this. There's only a there's only a couple other grid-based uh deck builders that I can think of. And like there just aren't that many uh roguelike deck builders that are uh going for like the full tactical play, and none have done it even remotely close to as good as Earthless. That felt really good. I like the crew management system, the different upgrades you can go for. Uh, the artifacts were kind of cool as kind of a way of modularly upgrading your cards. I was hoping for a little bit more upgrading just because uh, I really, really like it when you can like spiral cards out into being kind of ridiculous, but eh, whatever. I wonder if you can stack multiple artifacts on one card. I'm going to say probably not. Uh, but it does say like hundreds of upgrades and like 90 plus cards. So I think we should have plenty of things to play around with. So this is coming out in early access sometime next year, but the demo is available to play as part of the Steam Next Fest. So if you guys want to try Earthless yourselves, uh, you're more than welcome to. And I will have a link in the descri description below. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be ac uh, accessible before the Next Fest. They gave it to me a week early uh, before that actually starts. Uh, but if you're lucky, it's available now. And if it's not, check back in a week and you'll be able to play Earthless yourself. And I, just one final thing. The fact that this is going to have co-op play sounds really cool to me. I don't know if you're going to be splitting the same ship or if you're going to have two different ships. I hope it's two because I think this would be really fun with uh, two completely separate ships with their own like unique strengths and weaknesses. Somebody that's a little bit more like rail gunny with uh, long range artillery and somebody else that's a bit more of a, a short range bruiser. I feel like that kind of combo would be incredibly cool to behold. But for now, I'm just super stoked to see where this goes. Because with all that said, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. With that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.